Yo, so guys, I hope you guys can hear me, but um, just got off work, quickly changed, uh, loaded the quad, and uh, now we're gonna try and hunt. Looks like the rut is finally starting, and so everyone's shooting bucks, and I'm um, gonna try my luck at it. <sighs> Took a break from hunting. You guys saw how frustrated I was getting, so hopefully this is our reset button. Um, I have yet to successfully shoot and recover my any deer this year so i've shot a bunch of them but i haven't recovered them so and monkey is definitely on my shoulder right so, and then, and I slowly hike in head to the first tree stand and uh, see what happens stay tuned guys So I managed to make it to the blind but on the way there I ended up bumping a few deer. I ended up sitting in the blind until last light but unfortunately no deer come down the trail. As I sat there throughout the evening I was blessed to hear the roars of howling bucks in the nearby area signaling that the rut has kicked off. On the way back to the truck, I ended up coming across two does and I quickly ranged them which I thought was 91 yards. Now when I took the shot, two things happened. First, I noticed my arrow went way high and second, that my bow sounded like a 22 long rifle. Now after I took the shot, I re-ranged and realized that the does were standing at 74 yards and I don't know what happened, how I got 91, but either way, I missed the shot. All right, guys, so uh, just climbed into the tree stand and uh, already it's a win. Um, I don't know if you can see that behind me. But uh, I guess I left my GoPro in this tree. So I know there's been other hunters that use this tree stand because um, it's uh, there's evidence like there's an arrow and whatnot but to whoever been using this cheese stand and didn't take home my GoPro just wanted to say thank you but um, uh, I'm pretty stoked I got my GoPro back so now I have two <laughs> um, hopefully it still works but uh, all right anyway so it's, uh, it's about it's about 5 30 right now so I'm just gonna sit here and uh, see if something comes up. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> just stoked that I found my GoPro. <laughs> uh, I knew I misplaced it. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. Wait till the next hour half. See if anything comes out. Wish me luck, guys. into the tree stand and uh, 
on the on the hike in, I got to this lane that right inside the tree line there was a bunch of deer. And um so I was like, oh shit. So I crouched down, tried to get close to this this lava tree. And uh I thought they were gonna come up right here at fucking five yards, but they they moved off and uh I estimated them popping out at 28. They popped out at like, I don't know what, when I I tried to range the first door, my hand was going shaking all over the place. But I had 63 point something. Um, so I put 63 on, came full draw at the door, and um, I just missed. Um, and so just fell short. And as that door, and, or as the three doors ran off, the buck just popped up. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And he stopped right there. So I put 65 on. I put 65 under the pull up, knocked another arrow, like shaking all over the freaking place. And then, um, and yeah, like I got to full draw. And only when I got to full draw, he started doing the, the freaking side to side head movement. And I shot, and I think I hit him. Um, I heard a sound, and the way he ran off was, ooh, looked like I hit him. Um, holy shit. I hope I, I put a good shot. I, I thinking back, I, I, all I knew, I, I held, I tried to hold my, pin steady right on him and then I just once I got the pin right on that shoulder I just focused right on that shoulder um so holy crap I think I hit him I'm pretty he was a nice buck um I don't want to say he's a monster buck because I don't want to be that guy that just says oh every buck's a monster buck but uh, he, he looked like a really good buck so holy crap I'm excited. I want to go over there and look, but I have quite some time. So I'm going to stick with the original pan, go to the tree stand, and then sit there for an hour and then look. Because worst case scenario, I missed. Best case scenario, I hit him good and he's in that bush. But I don't want to spook him. So, <sighs> holy crap. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> I, I really think I hit him though. Oh shit, okay. Ah. Ow. My feet sore. Hi guys, so it's the next day. Um, I decided to back out. Um, I couldn't find my arrow, couldn't find blood, but I'm going off of what I heard from the shot and the fact that when I was looking for my arrow, I heard him crash and uh, there's a, a so with so just by those two factors I'm I'm pretty sure he's down um, I hope I can find the arrow I I'm, my plan is I'm gonna push through push through the lantanas and then because it'll, it'll open up after the lantanas and hopefully when i do that i can find it find a blood trail or my arrow or track something um again i heard him crash so it's not too far so yeah um just gonna hike in i'm on a time constraint so and it's starting to rain so yeah hopefully hopefully i find him guys We'll see. All right, guys. So I grid searched for about an hour, a little over an hour, and really, I couldn't couldn't find the arrow. Um, and there's really nothing to go by. Um, I couldn't find any tracks or his tracks. You know, if he was injured, he would have been digging, digging crazy. So um, I found fresh tracks but I don't think it was his so yeah um looks like I missed Pro what 
other than the thumping and the crashing who knows uh maybe i was just hearing things as far as th the thump that hollow hit and the crashing who knows maybe it was a different buck just raking uh like i said i grid searched uh, a good square grid <laughs> like from where i was I took the shot to where i thought i heard him crash and that's that covers about over 100 yards so honestly don't know um i probably missed my arrow probably ricocheted off to neverland and uh the buck is probably alive never even never even injured him so that's probably the best case scenario that he's still alive somewhere and i will be able to hunt him again some other day as for me i still have an hour so a couple days ago uh, actually the one where my bow sounded like a 22 i took three nice long shots so since i have some time left i'm gonna look for my arrows hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did leave a like subscribe and all that awesome stuff and until the next one shoot